I've always stated on this platform that there are only two constants in politics. The first constant in politics is normally interest. As long as the interest of political players can converge at one point, then they will always work together. Who would have imagined that Francis Atuli and William Samara Pluto would actually hold a meeting, close to two hours meeting, at State House in Nairobi? And it is as simple as this. Uh, when we came into office, let me again give you an example, because I have the benefit of a bit of experience. When we came into office, we had 3.8 million people contributing to NSSF, NHIF, right? And everybody was contributing 340 shillings, or is it 320? 320 shillings. Everybody, just like the 200 of NSSF. So we decided to say, okay, why don't we adjust so that the people who earn more, like Deputy President, can pay 5,000? Then the other people can be graduated like that. So we changed the regulation, but we were taken to court by a stupid man called Atuoli. <laughs> I have no regret to say he's a stupid man, because he is. He's a very foolish person. Because he is supposed to be representing the, the lower people. What business does he have defending Deputy President not to pay 5,000 shillings? Wame wako karibu na William Samoe Ruto. Kuna sehemu sasugoi wakate miti. Isiwe karibu kwa jini taretisa usubui ya uyo usiku. Kura itatangaswa. Na uyo mtoto atajinyona. Wakate miti. Thank you. The second constant in politics is betrayal. Francis Atuli was one of the key pillars of Ray Ludinga's campaign in the last election. Unajua wacha ni kuambie William Ruto siyo mjinga vile watu wanafikiria. Asha pigi ya sabu ni mtu ambaye kasi yake alia angia katika siyaza kiwa mdogo sana wakata lipokuwa kwa YK92. Na amesha pigi ya sabu yake kabisa na wale wandani wake wamejua wanapotesa hii kiti imeenda. Kwa hivyo sasa hii hasira ye kati ya yake na uhuru kinyata ni ya kwamba anaona kama uhuru kinyata ni mbetrei kusupport Raila Mwede Odinga na ye kupotesa kutichang ya vote za Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya Raila Mwede Odinga alikuwa na expect kupata 20%. Lakini sasa vile ilivyo na mna hivyo wako nek, kwa nek na William Ruto katika Mount Kenya. Na tukimaliza wiki hii watu wa Mount Kenya watakuwa medicide. Watasema hoteli ifungwe ama ndofu haisiku na pembe zake and because his interest and those of Raila Odinga are no longer converging Francis Atuli looked for William Samara Pruto in fact he began by looking for uh, Musalim Davadi and today he met with William Samoe Arapruto but the biggest question which every Kenyan is asking is what is the political significance of that meeting what will be the impact of a truly meeting with Roto today. Before we get into all those, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please I want you guys to take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. And I want to make a request to you guys, please for this particular video, just press that thumbs up button. And for those who can also, please drop your comments. That's the best way you can support the channel. I know there are so many people who always send me coffee. You can also do that using the numbers below. And I want to thank Richard Ulum, Arena DC <laughs> from New Jersey. Thank you, comrade, for always supporting the channel and George Okello also based in Maryland, but from Dago. Dago is just next to where I am here. I'm waiting for you guys to arrive back into the country so that we can have Nyamachoma. 
Now, let us look into this particular meeting which took place today. And I want you to be honest with me. Do you believe that this meeting is going to have political impact? For me, I tend to think that this meeting is going to have huge political impact, especially as far as the as far as uh, as far as Western Kenya or the lawyer politics is concerned. I was looking at the names of the people who attended this particular meeting. Let me just get to Muslim Davadi's page. Those who attended this meeting, eh? you can clearly see there is uh, Ruto there. There is uh, Atuli. There is Boni Alwale. There is Rashid there. There is Weta there. And this group of lawyer leaders. So for me, I can see Washel is there. Several key lawyer leaders and also the presence of uh, Rigadi Gashagwa in this particular meeting. So it's going to, this meeting in my view is going to have huge political impact in this country moving forward. But what was the main objective of this meeting? The first objective which William Ruto wanted to achieve by organizing this meeting is that Ruto is keen on locking out Raila Odinga out of lawyer politics. And the only way to lock Raila Odinga out of lawyer politics is to drag Atuli from his side. Let's face it, William Ruto can have Mudavadi, he can have Weta, he can have all those other people, including uh, Oparanya, on his side. But as long as Atuli is with Raila Odinga, he was not going to succeed. Because Atuli has the money, Atuli has the ability to identify key politicians from uh, Western Kenya. In fact, after every election in this country, Atuli normally controls members of parliament from Western Kenya. Why? Because he sponsors most of those candidates. And because of his deep pocket, Atuli also has the ability to mobilize. So when he was with Raila Odinga, for instance, Atuli would organize those anti mundavadi rallies, those anti weta rallies. He would organize events for Raila Molodinga. Because of his money, even the elders down there would listen to him. So in most cases, Musala Mudavadi Ruto would, would make moves here and there. But at the end of the day, the elders would sneak to Atuli's home because he, he also understands how to, to stay around with the, <laughs> with Wazes. So by going for Atuli, I think Ruto is now keen on stopping Raila Amorodinga. One thing I'm not sure about is whether he's going to succeed because Raila Odinga also has his other tricks. Can Raila Odinga then now go to Western Kenya minus Atuli? Minus Weta, minus Mudavadi, minus, uh, okay, th only those three. Because the rest, I'm sure, he can, uh, Raila Odinga can manage. So, Ruto is reaching out to Atuli for one main reason. Locking out Raila Odinga from uh, lawyer politics. Number two, and this one here, someone will come back to me later and thank me. Ruto is preparing Musalia Mdavadi as a potential running mate in 2027. The truth of the matter is that the mountain voted for Ruto to the last man. And uh, Ruto is not very sure with the mountain. Because if the mountain left Uhuru, one of their own, a man they termed anointed by God, what will stop them from... Uh, dumping Ruto. So the best option for Ruto would then be Musalia Mdavadi. Ruto is going to make the same mistake which Uhuru made. And he's going to fall out with Rigadi Gashagwa. And that can explain why Rigadi Gashagwa insisted on attending this meeting. Maybe Ruto informed him a meeting with the lawyers, lawyer leaders 
all of them so mimi nakuja then he just crossed so i'm looking at this meeting as a strategy to raise the profile of Muslim Dawadi. Indeed, I totally met with Muslim Dawadi first. And there are other leaders from Western Kenya who really don't have time for Dawadi, but I saw them today with uh, Ruto. So Ruto is basically trying to consolidate Western Kenya under the leadership of Muslim Dawadi. The third objective of this meeting is loyal, loyal unity, the elusive loyal unity. And if you look at the photos here, it's basically the face of loyal leadership. You know, Ruto is following the script from Moi, whereby you go for the top leaders, bring them together. And the purpose of this for me is basically about Kakamega. Because I'm not seeing the governor for Kakamega here. I'm seeing uh, the, the gubernatorial candidate, UDA gubernatorial, gubernatorial candidate, NC gubernatorial candidate, Cleophas Malala. I'm seeing uh, Mudavadi there. Weta is there. I think this other guy is uh, the candidate for. Bungoma, I'm not sure. There's Rashid. Then there is Taita Samala. Then uh, the former majority whip, Wangwe, who is supposed to be part of Azimio. <laughs> so, lawyer unity. In fact, if they can agree to work together, then they can achieve that elusive lawyer unity. But one thing I know for sure is that they leave this meeting and probably. The next day, Boni Alwale will be in Bungoma, taking on, <laughs> taking on the, the, the party leader of Fort Kenya, Moses Masika Wetangula. Number four, the other, for me, the other reason for this meeting is the Bungoma senatorial by-election. And I've opined severally on this platform that that by-election in Bungoma is likely to cause serious fallout in Kenya Kwanza if William Ruto will not be able to handle it well. The truth of the matter is that Wetangula delivered for Ruto. And the question was, why would Ruto then sponsor a candidate against Weta's candidate in Bukoma? Nobody was understanding that. So this meeting probably discussed the Bungoma senatorial candidate. And that's why Tuli was involved because Tuli has the potential of bankrolling the other candidates of Munyinyi group if not well managed. And probably Weta told uh, Ruto that whatever you are doing is not right. So let us wait and see how the UDA candidate is going to campaign either today or tomorrow because I think the election is, is supposed to be on 8th or whether they'll be forced to withdraw. But I'm sure part of this the meeting was about the Bungoma senatorial by-election. Number five, the fifth objective of this meeting was to reconcile Atuli and Ruto and probably Weta and Dabadi. Because Atuli fell out with the two, Atuli fell out with Ruto. This group, Atuli fell out with uh, Rashid Echesa. You can remember the statements Echesa made against Rashid. And the ones, I mean, the statement Echesa made against Atuli and the ones Atuli made against Echesa. Very interesting. So, probably these are just efforts to reconcile these people. And lastly, I think Ruto probably is keen on trying to dismantle Railu Dinga's networks in uh, Western Kenya. And those networks were actually linked or wired back to Francis Atuli. Atuli used to host Azimio meetings in his Kajado home. He used to sponsor events. 
you know he used to give Raila Odinga talk to this guy here that guy there as far as lawyer politics is concerned in fact it's a tool who made Muslim Davadi the lawyer spokesperson sometimes back so let us wait and see how everything is going to take shape but for me if you ask me Raila Odinga must now rethink his strategy He's being isolated and Ruto means business. The other thing I would advise Azimio is not to bank on Jubilee. If I were to advise Raila Odinga, I would ask him to revert back to NASA. NASA will resonate more with the, his supporters than Azimio. Azimio is kind of more of a Jubilee thing. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye bye.